This is Barbie, and this is the Birch Forest Barbie won for Wonder 19. And yet, he's still stuck with this old, boring looking birch biome. So today, I'm gonna help Barbie turn his boring home into a superior version of the birch forest. But before we get into the video, maybe consider subscribing. I put a lot of time and effort into my videos and it would mean a ton to me. All right, so the first step is to find a suitable birch forest and completely demolish it. I chose this little peninsula and started clearing out all its birch trees because we do not want to look at any of this old, ugly, unimpressiveness. Yes, Mojang, I really wanted a better looking birch forest. The next step is to make all the things that go into a birch forest, like new trees, some structures, and all the other little decorations. You guys might not know this, but ever since the superior spruce biome, all the biome transformations I have done have been in the same world. So to keep everything within the same scale, I have some spruce trees in the background as a reference. And as usual, I'm making three small trees as well as three larger versions of the birch tree for what I consider to be the best variety to effort ratio. Anyways, normally the birch biome doesn't come with any structures, so I decided to just make some houses to place in the forest. The first one was a beekeeper's house where I included a little honey extractor on the porch. Yes, that is what that is supposed to look like. Moving on, next up was the florist hut and finally I made a large house that I thought could function as a hunting slash gathering lodge where our good friend Bobby could live once the build was over. I also wanted to add some other features to the superior birch forest like those fallen logs in the concept art but I decided to make them manually later. And now we're on to the third step, putting everything together. The first thing I wanted to get in was the hunting lodge because I wanted to place it up against this natural hill to sort of lie both protected but also to seem like it was deeper in the forest than it actually was. Then I connected the rest of the future forest with some paths that for now lead nowhere. And therefore I moved on to the top of the hill where I placed the beekeeper's house. Now where I live we actually have bees in our garden and I don't just mean those wild bees. No, my parents are full on hobbyist beekeepers. So I just based the hive setup around what we have in our garden. Next up was the florist and I made sure to give them some flower fields right around their house. Obviously this isn't a real villager profession, just like the beekeeper isn't one either, but I actually think these would be super cute if they were. And I've always thought it would make a lot of sense to make more biome specific villager professions than what we have now. Anyways, that was just a little rant of mine. So now it was time to spend a few hours pasting in a whole heap of birch trees. I haven't counted them exactly, but I know there are more than 200 trees and I would say that does indeed count as a whole heap. Along the way, I also added in some small docks as well as a second place with hives where I did my very best to build a little wagon that the beekeeper can use to transport his equipment and honey earnings up and down the hill. And you know, just with all the trees in place, the forest was already looking pretty good. But I still wasn't finished because in the original concept art that sparked my inspiration for this build, you see a fallen log as well as a bunch of flowers. So I went through the entire floor of the forest and placed mossy logs, bone mealing the ground and pasting in some custom patches of flowers. And finally, I also added this cozy little fireplace. Now we are ready to take a look at the final results. And just to recap, we started with this peninsula being absolutely unimpressive and looking like birch forests have done for almost a decade. And now we have added some different foraging outposts, a cozy fireplace, along with a complete upgrade of the trees and shrubbery making up the forest. And the last thing we're missing is obviously just to move Bobby into his new home. Honestly, I think it turned out way better than I had hoped. And come on Mojang, you could at least have added some fallen logs. Just look how much it improves the atmosphere. And that was all I had for you in this video. And if you're still here, here's a few clips of uh, Birdie making some noise while I was trying to record. And the last thing we're missing... Oh, damn.
And the last, and the la and the last thing, and the last thing we're missing is up. And the last, and the last thing, put it. And the last thing we're missing is obviously to not be a little birdie. And the last.